and there it is the spacecraft that crashed on this watery planet hi everyone i'm raymond and this game is called harold halibut um this game came out literally um this tuesday so it's been 10 years in the making and the biggest reason it's has taken so long is because every texture you see has been carefully handmade um which is incredible um so it's these are clay figures that have been 3d scanned and put into this game um i had only known about this game for a couple weeks um i had seen ads and different uh different post about it and how it's such a unique game and I thought it would be a great game to uh, play on the channel so let's get into it Harold I'm afraid I need you to come with me oh hi major what's the matter is that leak bothering you again it's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. Can't go tubing wait, without tube credits. Wait, I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. Okay, so I will let you guys know I have played through like the first 10 minutes of this game already. Um because I had some technical difficulties. Uh, at first, I wondered what tubes were and what they were talking about, like tubing. Um, you'll see shortly what that means. The end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. That guy does not like me. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first opportunity to move around and see what this game's actually like. Um, okay. I know we can run. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean, look, can't we... <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary number 24. It is not my name. Anyway... I'm afraid all Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. He totally could have made an exception. All right, let's see what this kid is all about. By the first replacement of our inaugural CEO with Madame Brenna Castletrop the year after. Then in 13,000... So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for All Water? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh, obvious joke. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything, whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. Van der Vaart. You too, Master Van der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! So, we didn't get an exception. 
but they get an exception. We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Pretty weird haircut. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. My I buns. do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. So... Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. This obviously isn't Harold's Every time I need first you, Harold, it's something else. In trouble. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting. That did just move. The cardboard cut out. There's that weird dude. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. <sighs> I'm sorry, Professor. I don't think we've met anybody that likes us yet. So this is this is what they mean by tube travel. Where we get in this tube and for some reason have to get water dunked on us. Okay. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. I hope they have dryers. At the you end of these two systems. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. Temporarily, we hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making process that led to this, sir. But I assure you, okay. it will be I know we need to go to the lab because she's wearing a lab coat. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. Dang. Never thought being called a butterfly would be that harsh of a diss. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who- Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. 
You seem to have waylaid All your PDA. Tasks. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? So I'm assuming that's my top button. No, it's not. Cool. It's my Y button. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Okay. All right, freedom. <laughs> so I've heard that uh, this, these note pages are Harold's drawings of what happens or what we come across. So it looks like that's the uh, the all water guy yelling at us, and there's the kid in the chair. Okay, cool. All right, so we need to feed the fish. Pratt, it's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Okay, and Cyrus is where I left off last time before the recording, before I realized the recording failed. I don't think we need to do anything in this room. Mm. Okay, this is our room. Let me check what we needed to do again. Ask Cyrus, clean the filter station, and feed the fish. Okay. And I believe that's pronounced Moreau, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go find the filter station. Memory marbles are multi-dimensional. Ah, Harold, perfect timing. Oh, Senor Tenerbaum, you too. Tenerbaum. I was just hoping to watch some Sansu's Ashk. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ah, should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Let's find out what Sansu's ask is. What is Sansu's ask? Yes, Sansu's ask. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad. Well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth powering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. Mm, no, we won't. <laughs> what brings you to the lounge, anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The Bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. 
Won't they do their homework? Maybe. Mr. Tenerbaum's a teacher. The whole social district is off limits right now. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Yeah, in case we want to watch 36 seasons. Okay. I think we came from this direction, so let's go downstairs. Bathroom, nice. Or the, the WC, the water closet. Filtration pump. There's a, there's a tentacle there. Okay. If I remember correctly, I have to do something weird here. Go over, down to the one that's red. And drain. Clean as a whistle again. Cool. I don't know how draining cleans it, but I guess it does. to Cyrus, so we can find out about the fish food. Hey, Cy. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Now, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the- Sigh, sigh. That sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry. Harold does Brad. not care Denied. about what Sai has to say. <sighs> Must have just thought about it. Now they formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sai, Sai. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it. Promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Oh, did you see that? Was that, that fish real? At all? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean... Even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm. I guess something about... Exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy too? Hmm. Okay. So this is as far as I got um, when I played the first time. So everything up until this point is new. Or everything after this point is new. 
Um, but yeah, Sai. Sai's like the second nice person we've met. And we, we kind of just like shut him off <laughs> when he was talking to us. And they mentioned the fedora. I believe from the trailers and what I've read, the fedora is this whole station where everyone lives. Um, that's what we're in right now, is the fedora. Let's see if the fish like it. Little fishy? Your little dishy is now served. <laughs> okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. Scanning, scanning. All tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation, minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination, Agora Arcades. Uh, yeah. Harold is definitely not boring. Okay, not the arcades. And they were also... They were talking about how... Maybe... So from, from my understanding, this, like, ship, they left Earth, like, during the uh, nuclear missile crisis, um, ah, like, why during the Cold War. Working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Completed. So there's fish dinner. There's tenor bomb and something else. There's the fish with the banner up top. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay. To do. Okay, I can watch the announcement on the TV in the lounge. Okay, so we gotta go back to where Tenor Bomb is. So yeah, they came here. They came here during the missile crisis, and they apparently got stuck, but maybe not. Hello again. Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest. Not that I actually live here. <laughs> oh, it's starting. We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenner Castlechop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora, just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. Okay, so we're gonna get a better recap than the one I was giving. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. 
That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space, radio boy, capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And... Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right. The buoy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure. Makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. Those bambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. Yeah, uh, Chris Tannerbaum is some guy. <laughs> Alright. Time to sleep. Let's get back to our room. Please remember, the all-water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Gosh. Get snug, not stranded. Don't get me wrong, I love claymation, but sometimes it can be absolutely terrifying. It's one of the reasons this game caught my eye, is because I find it just a little, claymation sometimes is a little bit unsettling. Oh boy, what a day. Here's hoping tomorrow is a bit more relaxed. I could do with a day off. All this running back and forth for people is tiring, man. But Agent Harrelson, that's what they pay you for. <laughs> Don't let us down now. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, <laughs> Let me pause it before it keeps going. Um, thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, 
leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Harold. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week for the next episode of this Let's Play. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye.